Hi everyone, welcome back. This is my last video in my current little, we'll call it the yellow t-shirt section. Um, I filmed SPF and retinols and a disappointing video. Um, this is, it's a weird one, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna have to call them, but they are either uh, CC creams, BB creams, or skin tints, or some kind of cream that you can use on top of a moisturizer to give you a little bit of color or to correct a bit of colour that you don't want there, um, but they also have SPF. So these for me are what I call, I used to call, I don't have to do it anymore because now my children are a bit older and get themselves to school. Yes. But these are what I would traditionally have called school run products. I'm going to start with one that has very rudely been discontinued because I think it is still available and if you can buy it, you probably should. I'm sure they're going to bring out something else to replace it, but I'm still not speaking to them. And frankly, I'm not very happy with their behavior. It's, you would think my old favorite, Kate Somerville, like that. Kate Somerville, Illuma Kate, see what she did there. CC Cream, Broad, broad, broad why can't I say Broad Spectrum? Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I love this. It looks like this. I'm going to stand up and show you. It looks like, th now there are different, shades this is medium number four where is it there okay it gives you i use this on top of moisturizer so i don't use it as a i'm not a big fan of tinted moisturizers i use moisturizer and then i put color on my face they do two different things moisturizer and spf finish your skincare routine and color starts it starts your color routine so these are that hybrid product in the middle where if you don't want to go for a full face or maybe you do but you're going to use something later on during the day and you just need something to pop out you can do moisturizer and then one of these so that's Kate Somerville Illumicate CC cream they discontinued it because they hate me um, similar to that which is thankfully come in to take their place although I did stock up when I was there obviously is Dr. Dennis Gross this is medium to deep instant radiance sun defense sun sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40 looks like that and looks like put it here that can you see so it's a bit darker but it blends out beautifully so this is really it's actually probably a shade too dark for me but I got a pale and one that's slightly too dark so one's for when I'm looking my usual pale insipid self and the other is when I've been on holiday um medium to deep this would probably go I would say medium black skin but not not really dark um but I don't think it would make you ashy either but it's worth testing um I wouldn't say from exact experience because I haven't been able to try this on any of my friends who are that bit darker than me. Um, Instant Radiant Sun Defense, it's a lovely, lovely feel. It's a lovely texture and you stick it on on top of your moisturizer. Lovely, using the word lovely a lot, like Mary Poppins, lovely. Um, two from Estee Lauder. They're not new, by the way. These are just, like I said, my current faves. Revitalize and Supreme CC and Enlighten EE. They look like that. They're very shiny, so they will never focus. Um, the CC cream is beautiful. Oh, nice yellow neckline. The CC cream looks like, take a step back, Caroline. Oh, I use too much. I hate it when I use too much to demo because I don't want to waste it. That's the CC there. This is the EE, which is much darker because it's um, a skin tone corrector. So that's what they look like. This one blends through I'm gonna to have to blend up my blooming arm, am I? This gives you the most lovely glow. And it's not ashy, it, it disperses to a sort of makeup tanned color when it's on. It kind of, you can see here, it has almost pigment correctors that blend into the color of your skin. And then this one is if you are really red. Like I said in a previous video, by the way, my hands aren't this dark, it's the light. Um, this one is better if you have discoloration on your skin or you have pigmentation or you have like red bits around your nose. Depends entirely on how your skin looks on the day. If my skin looks pretty good and I just want to look glowing and healthy and J-Lo and fresh and happy, <laughs> it's a lot of a big ass for a skincare product, it would be that one. 
if I look a bit blotchy and patchy and I look a bit dull and a bit hungover and a bit, I don't drink, but you know what I mean? You feel a bit hungover, your skin looks like you are. It would be that one. And that color is medium number two. So I reckon if you're a pale blonde person, you're easily gonna be a number one. And then you go up one if you're darker than me. I have three left. See, I started with this fave fives and it's very quickly becoming fave sevens and fave eights. This one is Creme de la Mer, the Reparative Skin Tint, SPF 30. This is light to medium. It looks like this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. It looks like that. And then blended through. Let me rub it first so you can see. It just gives you, a, It's obviously it's impossible to see the lovely glow, but essentially, Oh, I really, really like this one. And it smells, just smells really, I mean, it smells like you would expect. It smells fresh and expensive. <laughs> um, two more user-friendly ones. This is Smashbox, camera ready, BB cream, SPF 35. Oh, sorry, that was SPF 30. I will put a link below to what, I'll make sure I list what the SPF content is because that was the important part. Smashbox, camera ready, BB cream, SPF 35. This is light to neutral. Uh, prime, perfect, protect, hydrate, and control. <laughs> I say. Um, and it looks like, I'm going to put that one there and then show you this one first. This one looks like that, which is now, my skin is very rapidly all becoming the same colour. <laughs> but it blends. This one's a bit too pale for my arm, but then my arms, because I'm always in t-shirts and v-necks, they're always darker than my face. But this one is really lovely. I find this one's better on days I'm feeling slightly greasy. So I would use this more for, um, I need to go out and look fabulous, but I'm having a bit of a hormonal day. Just leave it at that, shall we? And then this one I picked up in LA. This is Jua Illuminizing Moisture Tint, SPF 20, and it's oil free. And I know that's important to a lot of you. I don't mind a bit of oil. Um, oil free, hypoallergenic, fragrance free, water resistant, perfect for all skin types. And apply luminizing, sorry, I'm reading. Apply luminizing moisture tint to clean skin with your foundation brush or fingertips and you can layer for extra coverage. This is the color Glow. These guys do make a wealth of colors. So if you are much paler than me or much darker than me, you can definitely check them out. This is Glow. It is slightly yellow peachy, but the result, again, all of these I've been using in the last couple of weeks. We've had our summer in England. It's the end of July. We've had our summer. It's done now. We go away in England next week and it's gonna rain all week. Oh, to be in England in the summertime, or don't be. Um, I love the texture of this. So I'm gonna do a quick recap. It won't be in any particular order because I'm not that organized. Okay. Discontinued Kate Somerville, love it. Try it if you can get it, it's fantastic on top of moisturizer. Dennis Gross, a great replacement until they bring out the alternative to that one, which I'm sure they're going to, and I will buy that too. Um, medium to deep, it's probably a shade darker than me. This is me when I'm tanned, really tanned. Estee Lauder, the two of them. CC for days you look like you, you, you look okay, you just want a bit extra oomph. EE, think of this as emergency, like, God, I look awful. E E. Clearly I look classy. C C. We've really gone off on a tangent now. I've been filming a long time. Uh, creme de la mer reparative skin tint. One for you if you um, are a creme creme. If you're a creme user and you like their products, this is excellent. It's not the cheapest. If you are on big budget, you know you have the, that concern. I would head to Boots and get Smashbox loving a bit of Smashbox lately. I'm sure when I do my next videos, which will probably be more makeup-y focused. Makeup and serums. Anyway, put your request down below. Um, there'll be a lot of Smashbox in it. It's a great brand. And this is fantastic if you are a little bit oily. And then Jua is great eh, for all skins, but especially good for um, different skin tones and I would use this one on top of a moisturizer for me it wasn't enough on its own there's my quick roundup um I will see you probably again in a couple of weeks I hope you enjoyed leave any requests below I will get back to your comments as often as as soon as I can and as often as I can um I tend to do them in batches 
So I sit at the computer for like two hours, respond to as many as possible, and then everyone writes back to me and I'm like, oh my God, there's more. Um, so I will do as quickly as I can and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.